I mean, pornography is, is a false. It's just yeah. a it's a false fake thing of what yeah. the, what really of what's going on in your heart. Whether right. you want you want the real thing, yeah. But it's the the pornography is easier. Yeah. Like it's just easier. Uh-huh. To, it's easier to, to look at a, 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 a picture yeah. than it is to deal with your wife on on certain right. you know on some yeah. issues or whatever. It's just easy to, to escape to that. You know. Yeah. So. How can this and other devices that we use slowly chip away at our lives spiritually? We understand that our phone and other devices that we use can be a tool for doing great things. But if we can be real, if we can be honest, sometimes our phone and other devices that we use are used as tools for destruction in our lives. In today's episode, we're going to be having a conversation with my friend, John McCarter, as we talk about some tips to help you fight against pornography. Hey, and if it's our first time meeting, my name is James Howard Jr., and I'd like to thank you for checking out this episode of the Man to Man podcast. Our purpose here is to simply help men honor God in every single part of their lives, and one of the main ways we do that is through this podcast. And if you're watching this on YouTube, we have a bunch of other videos on this channel that can help you grow in your relationship with God. So if you're interested in anything like that, I want you to consider subscribing. Just a little background information about my friend John before we jump into our conversation with him. John is a local business owner of a restaurant called Topher's here in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. He's also an elder at my church, a husband, a father, and an all-around great guy and a great man of God. So let's jump into this conversation with my friend John McCarter. What is something that you would you would tell young men who are growing up right now? Uh, what's one bit of advice that you would give to them if you knew they would take that advice and apply it to their lives? Uh, I think the biggest thing I would tell them is to not be distracted and uh, and uh, by social media mm-hmm. and and uh, man, you know the biggest temptation as you're at, when I was a teenager was uh, obviously pornography or sexual right. stuff and um i don't think it's changed i think you know uh it's easier access that's what i was about to say <laughs> is that and that's why i say to you know limit yourself on on uh social media on your phone on i mean just limit it man like uh it, it, an easy way to look at it is just go on your phone and look at how much time you spend on because it shows you how much time you spend on stuff yeah and uh you know i would just limit it to hardly anything every day and even even shows or movies or whatever you know just yeah. be careful what you're looking at because uh it's easy to get into the trap of of pornography and and uh and you know sexual stuff yeah. and because that's that's what you you know you're tempted that yeah. was my biggest temptation right and it's probably in most majority of guys yeah. i would think yeah um so that's the biggest thing you know one of the biggest things that um that really helped me was first of all accountability getting somebody mm-hmm. in your life yep. who, who really cares about you and really cares about you becoming better and then at the at the same time living limiting access as well man i tell guys who who i who i mentor uh probably one of one of the hardest first steps is to just you know cut off those things yeah. that you have access to um and I, I don't know if i told the story on this channel before but i remember man um, I was I was becoming an adult, right? So I felt like a man. I was like, man, I'm a man, man. Right. And so I went and I bought uh, the brand new, uh, I think it was an iPhone 3G at the time, man. And that bad boy was nice, man. And I'm 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 kind of a a, a semi semi nerd, semi tech geek. Mm-hmm. And so, man, it was I had been you know talking to my friends about it, and I had an iPhone 3G. You know, it's a nice phone, had a lot of access to stuff, man. But that was the problem. And I remember right. uh, one of the first steps I did, man. Is uh, I got rid of that phone, and uh, I got a dumb phone, you know, as I called it, with just some buttons and text messages and stuff like that, man. And I just remember uh, just making that that um, that decision that yo, I got all this access to all this pornography. I'm a grown man. Right. I got my own, you know, all this all this own stuff, and I made that decision. Like, you know what? I I, I can't do that. And I remember I made that decision, and um, I switched carriers and all this kind of stuff, and. Uh, one way that God kind of kind of confirmed some things with me is I had a friend who uh, who paid off uh, my contract for um, the company I had to move from, and mm-hmm. I switched and got a cheaper dumb phone or whatever. Yeah. And I was just like, okay, it was a little bit of a sign, like, okay, God, yeah. all right, I'm, I'm gonna make this commitment, I'm gonna do this, and then, um, yeah, yeah. So I mean, even recently, uh, I felt like the Lord was telling me to, you know, not be so distracted on my phone and and like playing games. I mean, we get. You know that, that's another thing. A fault of of, a, of men is we get we get we escape. We try right. to escape with stuff, and whether it be with games and and uh, you know whatever, uh, video games and, and stuff, and yeah. and uh, 
the Lord told me to put all that down, and I and I had I did it uh, finally. I mean, He told me this two years ago, and I just yeah. I did not obey. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> finally, I did a month ago. Uh, so I did. I obeyed, and and finally, and uh, I'm glad I did. You yeah. Know? It's it's been revolutionary obeying that and, yeah. and not being so distracted. Yeah. And I think that's the big thing, man, is um, as far as as far as how the how the devil works. One thing that I've learned is that uh, I've heard you, you probably heard the quote too, if the devil can't can't uh, can't beat you, he'll distract you or yeah, if he can't absolutely. something something like that, man. Yeah. And I, I think a lot of times as especially as specifically as men of God, um, you know, we can we can allow ourselves to be distracted. We can give ourselves permission to be distracted, things right. like that, man, and let those things control our lives. And we really miss out on what God has for us, man. And even as God honoring men who love God, man, we still have issues and different things that that can just keep us from having everything right. that God has for us, man. And I think that's one big thing. Uh, I talk, like I said, I talk about pornography a lot on on my channel. Okay. Uh, and, and it's one thing I think that uh, that God and uh, that the devil entraps in, in a lot of good Christian men with that specific sin because it just it keeps us away from what all God has for oh, us, yeah. man. You know, we may be doing good, yeah, we're going to die and go to heaven and stuff right. like that, but we, we we miss out on something that gets unlocked when you when you let go of that mess, man. I, and I've just seen it in my life, man, uh, that, you know, the peace I have in my mind, the peace I have in my heart, when I released that mess, man, and mm -hmm. it just, it made a difference. And I, I tell guys, I mentor, like, I can't explain it to you, but if you keep going, you, you'll 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 feel it. You'll you'll yeah. experience you'll experience it some way. Right. Some, well, I mean, out. pornography is is a false. It's just yeah. a it's a false fake thing of what yeah. the, what really of what's going on in your heart. Whether right. you want you want the real thing. Yeah. But it's the the pornography is easier. Yeah. Like it's just easier. Uh -huh. to, it's easier to, to look at a a, a, a picture yeah. than it is to deal with your wife on on certain right. you know on some yeah. issues or whatever. It's just easy to, to escape to that. You know. Yeah. Um, so you know that's the that's the thing about that. I I, I recommend a book, uh, Wild at Heart. I just got done reading it for okay, the, like the yeah. fourth time, and it is a, it's extremely good for men, and uh, in the, and this issue too. I yeah. mean, like it's it's a great book. Cool. So, we'll, we'll John link, John Eldridge. Is, yeah, we'll is, is we'll link that down below. Uh, Wild at Heart. You yes, said? Wild I've, at I've Heart. I've heard of it. I don't think I've ever read it yeah. before. Again, I'd like to thank you for checking out this episode of the Men to Men podcast. If you're interested in getting future content like this, I want you to consider subscribing. And if YouTube really isn't your jam and you would rather listen to this podcast, you can do so on Apple and Spotify. But before you go, if you would like more tips on how to fight against pornography, I want you to check out these videos here on the screen. All right, I'll see you over there. Peace.